let's show a few more three axis option on this part I just go and click feature recognition there's not much here just that one that is recognized so we're gonna right click and add multi-surface feature and select all displayed strategy will be in this case constant step over as an area clearance and a constant step over finishing right click generate operation plan area clearance we have pocket out but we can select volume mill now what is new you can see if you select volume mill it comes up with a new uh, feed and speed wizard where you can select the material the hardness of the material coating of the tool part holding the cone taper and mill etc different parameter and here at the bottom you can select if you want to go to the minimum or to the maximum of the possible uh, feed and speed parameter say okay then maximum cut amount as you can see is set automatically fruit length is 25 millimeters and uh, cut amount is 24 steps are two and a half and uh, what is new is hit flat to make sure that flat area are machined properly say okay and generate toolpath tool part processing in volume takes a bit bit more time of course but it's worth the wait since machining will be much faster than with a traditional roughing strategy okay so this is how it looks like do a quick simulation so you can actually see oops go back this was turbo mode and go back to the tool mode and you can see how volume mill is actually machining that part starting from the bottom and machining its way up So now let's move to the finishing. Just generate tool paths without any specific settings. Let's change a few things here. Uh, constant step over. Let's say we go uh, zig and just preview. So this looks quite okay and you can see that the tool pass is following the outside shape of the stock but that doesn't really look very pretty so how can we change this 
let's just go uh, okay and uh, we gonna add a contain area to actually change the shape of the toolpath just let's finish this and go here and add a new contain area so what I can do is just click all the faces and I can add an offset the outside maybe 15 millimeter so the machining will be restrained within that yellow area to pass is computed and you can see now we have a much nicer toolpath that matches actually the topology of the part. Now of course here at the bottom we have a sharp angle and uh, so there will be material left. What can we do there? We can add a new operation a uh, pencil mill. Of the pencil mill we select the whole feature and we say OK. Now let's select a tool. Of course we want a smaller tool. There is nothing available right here. So I can go oh, see a uh, ball nose 2 mm actually. Now we do it. On the pattern I can select trace or parallel lace and say OK I want uh, 5 cuts at 0 0.2 millimeters say OK Oops. and generate toolpath now we can see that we also have machining in that area which we may not want so how can we fix this a different way but uh, one simple way is to modify the uh, angle so I'll put 30 degree and here we go we just have the machining around the part and the other toolpath is gone so very simple to do